right, okay team, thank you very much, everyone, for coming tonight. Um, this is a fantastic turnout and a good increase on last year. So with this growth, we'll be, um, we'll be bigger and better again next year. Um, first of all, I'd like to, uh, I guess, welcome everyone to country. Um, Wajak Nulao people recognise that this is their land and respect their past, present and emerging uh, peoples. My name is Brad Hall. I'm a Managing Director of Exercise Institute, which is a service provider for the Cycling Development Foundation. I would like to warmly welcome uh, the following people. The Cycling Development Foundation Chair, Julie Dion. Together with the board members, Kane Blackburn, Sabine Bird, Sophia Erdhard. Wendy Megason, who's also the Junior Cycling Academy Chair, and the various Junior Cycling Academy Committee members in Jethro, James Buchanan, who's also the Midland Cycling Club President, Joe Florio, and our supporter group committee members in Lindsay O'Sullivan and Clifton. I'd also like to acknowledge Sam Bolton, the CDF Racing Team Manager, and Dr. Paul Merckx, PhD of Sports Science, who have both worked tirelessly in supporting the many individuals in our programs. So on behalf of the CDF board, bear with me please, and its members, I would like to warmly welcome the following partners and sponsors. Avoca Insurance Brokers, Milu Creative, Regis Resources, Bond Junior Cycling, Pedal Mafia, Horizon Power, Linus Rare Earths, Oral 7, Cash Management, Bike Sports Imports, the founding directors of Veris Limited, who have supported us through various iterations, the Bugganoo Aboriginal Corporation of Laverton, Liquor Barons, who have supported this and all of our events, incredibly so, through Chris and his team, West Cycle Representatives, All Cycle WA, Hank Vogel's Foundation members, Marie Laffin Photography, Great Boulder Resources, and the Chair of the Hall Family Trust, <laughs> and the various private donors to our causes uh, this year, and the writers and supporters of the Regis Resources, Perth for Laverton Cycling Classic. Finally, our CDF supporter group members, members of the Junior Cycling Academy, and our elite athletes who form part of our women's and men's National Road Series racing team. A bit about myself, as you are aware, Exercise Institute is a service provider for the Cycling Development Foundation. And we execute CDF strategy um, through practice. And we have both sporting and community-based programs in that regard. The CDF's purpose is to provide opportunity, participation and equity to individuals via the modality of cycling. We service a diverse range of interest groups the CDF embraces community and sporting initiatives, including the Regis Resources Perth to Laverton Cycling Classic, the major fundraising arm for the Laverton Cycling Project, the Junior Cycling Academy, and the Men's and Women's National Road Series Cycling Development Foundation racing teams, which form part of the High Performance Cycling Pathway in Australia. In Australia. The CDF more broadly serves to provide opportunity where there might be none or very little and to systematically work alongside individuals to further their development of goals. We work in at-risk communities. We work alongside aspiring junior cyclists and alongside Australia's very best athletes. We seek to have evidence from individuals from every tenant of society that they can access cycling as a means of exercise, recreation, sport and even high-performance outcomes. To this end, we are developing human capital, and investing in the ability of individuals to endure difficult environments, to persevere and overcome challenges in life, despite not every child or individual receiving equal chances, such as those in Laverton compared to Perth City. The opportunity for accessing these life chances is not equal and is not the same. So the CDF is responsible for providing opportunities and services and systems to allow these young people to overcome challenges and hurdles, some in the sporting arena, some in the day-to-day -day living, 
but skills nonetheless that they can take with them throughout their years. To quote a great American writer, William S. Burroughs, success is a byproduct of function, purpose, and conflict. Those who seek success for itself seek victory without war. My time as an athlete and subsequently studying sports science and psychology, I learned my own understandings of human learning, cognition, emotion, motivation, and especially in high-performing or difficult environments. This has enabled me to grasp that results are an outcome of process and process alone, and the human beings thrive in environments that are process-driven and aligned with their interests and values. So the Cycling Development Foundation generously assists me in moving forward with that direct direction and guide us along that path. Extracurricular sport and practice does all of this. It allows young individuals to embrace hardship and learn skills to overcome it. We do this through the Laverton Cycling Project, and I would thank Sabine Bird for her incredible work here. We hope that eventually riders might come from Laverton into the Junior Cycling Academy, learn skills in cycling, and then advance through our elite racing teams. It's a lofty goal, considering the at-risk community, but it's part of why we have this pathway. So next I would like to introduce someone to come and talk of these things. This individual has been a long-time supporter of the CDF. She began her engagement with us as a cyclist, competed as a valued member of our team, and excelled with individual achievements, holding the record for the women's 24-hour race and competing in the gruelling race across America. As a valued member of our coaching team, she has taken women's cycling to another level. So women start out at an introductory level and advance through the competition and participating in charity events or simply taking a cycling holiday through her initiatives. She coaches some of our best junior athletes and is a mentor to our junior team. But it is the regional town of Laverton with its First Nations children, it's far away from Perth size, that she really shines. One must only be present when she arrives on her monthly visits to witness the smiles on these children's faces. The Regis Resource Perth the Lakeland Cycling Classic this year was one of the best, and under her management, 15 cyclists arrived safely in Laverton, well fed and challenged, whilst raising valuable funds for the Laverton Cycling Project. No easy feat across 1,100 kilometres distance in eight days. In fact, a good many of these individuals are here this evening, and we warmly welcome you. At the beginning of 2023, we welcomed her onto the CDF board and her extensive knowledge of all aspects of the CDF board's responsibility. She is with good reason well respected. And I am, of course, referring to Sabine Burton. Sabine, if you can come up here, please. <laughs> 